Hello, welcome back to Nails by Mish. In this video, we are on day two of holiday nails, and we're going to be creating this festive tree. Basically, it's a Christmas tree. And I'm going to start off with the color candy. This is from the gel bottle. This is one of my favorite reds. I have it on my nails currently. I just love the way it applies. It's like full coverage, like with a little bit of transparency, but it applies very, very evenly, which I love. Like it didn't take that many strokes if you look at that. So now we're on our second coat. Just applying a nice thin even coat. I just wanted it to be just full coverage. Two layers is perfect. And now I'm coming in with our cat eyes gel from Meet Across. I bought this on Amazon. It's number 61. And it's kind of like a rusty orangey color, kind of goldish uh, hues. And I thought it would look really nice on top of red. And just applying it like really evenly, but like not too thin, but not too thick either because you only do one coat and then you just pick up your magnet and kind of just drag it across the nail. Sometimes you like lose all the glitter and you have to kind of like pull them back. It's so cool how this stuff works, but um, I find the little circular end works really nicely. You kind of just like bring it and pull it down. It's like magic, it's so fun. So I was pretty happy with how this turned out because it created kind of like a blank spot in the middle, perfect for the tree to sit. And then you cure for 60 seconds. I just love doing that. <laughs> so now I'm coming in with my Nail Queen 10 millimeter brush, liner brush. And I've got color green giant from Young Nails. I haven't used it in a while, so I'm gonna mix it up. And whenever I have excess gel, I usually use my thumb as like a little platter sometimes. So you see, I'll just like apply it there if there's extra. And then I can like dip into it as I go because gel doesn't cure until you put it in a lamp. It'll just wipe right off your nail. And I'm just making like a teepee shape. So like, or kind of like an, an arrow top. So just dragging some lines out to the side and down, from the middle down, trying to make that Christmas tree shape. And then I kind of noticed I was a little off center. So I was trying to like widen it to make it look a little more centered. And then once I'm happy with that, I will put it in the lamp to cure for about 30 seconds, not a full cure, just because I'm going to be working on top of it a little bit more and it's pretty thin. Perfect. So now I'm going to come in with a slightly lighter green color, well not slightly, a way lighter green color called Clash. From Young Nails as well. These are Mission Control gels and they're really good for doing nail art. And I'm just gonna like take a little bit out, put it on my little plate thing here. And what I want to do is put it over top of the tree that I have right now and it's gonna help me create some depth in this so it's not super basic like it's a pretty basic tree but it has a little bit more dimension to it because once we apply this lighter color I'm gonna go in with the darker color directly on top while it's still wet and just like drag the dark the dark parts through it so that it creates like some more thin lines and gives it some more some more depth and realness
And once I'm happy with the way it looks, I'm going to cure it in the lamp for full cure. 60 seconds. And no Christmas tree, festive tree would be complete without a star on top. So I've got gold champagne from Nail Queen. This is my favorite gold. I'm just putting a dot on the top and then I'm gonna like use my tiny nail brush. This is like I think my three millimeter one to kind of like pull it into a point like and make a star shape out of it. Oh, it's a seven millimeter one. Sorry. Or five, so seven. Um, so you're gonna make it like, make like a point and then I'm gonna go out a little bit, make another one, and then yeah, just make a star shape. I am so bad at like freehand drawing stars and it'd be really difficult to do with this gel because it's like chunks of glitter. So this to me was like the easiest option. You just make a little dot and pull it into a star and I think it worked pretty well. Once that's done, you could cure it, but you don't have to. Like I'm, I feel pretty confident with my nail art now that I don't have to cure between every single little thing that I do. But when you are new and starting out, if you just did something and you're like, oh, like I just finished that, like go, just cure it so that you don't accidentally mess it up. And now I'm coming in with some little ornaments or lights, either or. So I've got blue, red. And I'm just making little tiny dots all over. My, this dotting brush I'm, or dotting tool I'm using is very small. I got it in a kit when I did my training with Nail Queen. But it didn't fit in this box that I really like, so I cut the ends off. So they look a little shorter. And. So I'm just going in with some more dots of different colors, just to make it look a little more even. And when I'm happy with it, I will cure it. Now I'm coming in with the Extreme Shine Top Coat from the gel bottle. And just do a nice... Well, I love top coat. It's like the best part of doing nails because it A, it means you're done. <laughs> and B, it just brings the whole look together. So now I'll cure that for a full minute. And here is the finished product. I really like the way it turned out. Kind of looks like snow around the tree. Very cool. And yeah, I really hope you enjoyed this video and I really hope you stay tuned for day three. There's no cat eye gel being used on day three. Um, it was a look that took me a lot longer than I expected, but I really hope you guys stay tuned and yeah, have a wonderful day. Thank you.